Hi, I'm Wayne Besson, Executive Director for Truth Wins Out. One year ago, I closed the organization. In its 11 years, Truth Wins Out had many notable accomplishments. This included an undercover operation that showed that then Representative Michelle Bachman and her husband Marcus owned a clinic that practiced conversion therapy, or some would call it pray away to gay therapy. We organized the American Prayer Hour, an event that shined a harsh spotlight on the role American evangelicals played in the introduction of Uganda's anti-homosexuality bill. Truth Wins Out led a successful campaign to have Apple remove Exodus International's ex-gay iPhone app from its store. We created Respect My Research, a powerful and unique website where scientists condemned right-wing groups such as Focus on the Family and NARTH for distorting their research to attack the LGBT community. I was stunned to hear that James Dobson had quoted me in Time Magazine. I had no idea. I was mortified, frankly. In a joint investigation with South Florida Gay News, we exposed Jews offering new alternative to homosexuality, or Jonah's, Arthur Abba Goldberg, as a Wall Street con artist who served time in prison for fraud. Truth Wins Out generated countless news stories, protests, and survivor videos that undermined the ex-gay myth. We launched the Center Against Religious Extremism, our two care to monitor and expose the religious rights attacks on LGBT people and America itself. Given the alarming state of the world today, from right-wing violence to a presidency veering toward authoritarianism to Vladimir Putin's role in exporting homophobia across the globe, many of you have reminded me that Truth Wins Out was way ahead of the curve, sometimes years ahead of the curve, in warning about the existential danger posed by right-wing extremism. So many of you have urged me to reopen Truth Wins Out, appeals to which I have so far resisted. I'm grateful, and I humbly thank you for your kind words and confidence in our work. As many of you have said, what other organization goes beyond press releases and actually exposes right-wing hypocrites as the frauds they truly are? In the past few weeks, I've had to rethink your calls to reopen Truth Wins Out. Like you, I have witnessed the boorishness and barbarism, such as the anti-Semitic attack in Pittsburgh, the pipe bombs sent to Trump's Democratic opponents, efforts to deny or recount in Florida's elections, the shooting of two African Americans at a Kentucky supermarket, as well as Donald Trump's appointing a homophobic loyalist to be interim attorney general, placing our democracy at grave risk. We have an administration so vile and depraved that they had literally ripped crying children out of the arms of loving parents with their evil child separation policy at the United States-Mexico border. The time has come for me to re-engage in our fight for freedom. My sabbatical is over because bigotry and hate has not taken a sabbatical. As of today, Truth Wins Out is open for business effective immediately. I hope you will consider generously supporting our work. You contributed in the past because Truth Wins Out was more than talk, we were action. We actually monitored and exposed ex-gay and right-wing leaders, showed the world their true colors, and shut them down. For example, last week Truth Wins Out went undercover and exposed conversion therapist Norman Goldwasser for having gay profiles on Manhunt and Bear Nation, even as this therapist tried to cure LGBT people, including teens, of their homosexuality. Thanks to Truth Wins Out, one more ex-gay quad bit the dust again. Who else does this kind of work? Today, I need your help with seed money to restart our efforts. In turn, I will dig deep with passion and resolve and give you everything I have as we engage in the greatest struggle of our lives, which is battling a corrupt administration and a spineless, quizzling Republican Party that has put democracy in peril. If you give me a chance, I'll also work nonstop at putting the remaining ex programs out of business once and for all, not just in the US, but across the globe. Please join me today in fighting for equality and fighting against a resurgent right-wing extremism and the ex-gay myth. I'm hopeful for the future because I believe in our determination, grit, and resolve 
and because the alternative to prevailing in our struggle for freedom is unthinkable. Please head over to truthwinsout.org today, right now, to become a member and give a tax-deductible contribution to Truth Wins Out. I look forward to working with you and for you. Thank you.